Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to build exclusively with Antonio T. Smith Jr. Glad to have each and every one of you on. All right today, today's Friday. Yes, today's Friday. So always a pleasure to have each and every one of you on. <laughs> the days run together, wrong, wrong. <laughs> it's definitely <to> run together. <laughs> Oh, it's always a pleasure to have each and every one of you on. Great day, Queen Renee. We're excited. Uh, don't know what's going to be talked about today, but what has been talked about has really been a blessing to all of us. I know um, yesterday, using AI to build genius profiles and hiring people to fit them. So Antonio was telling, letting everyone know what the pro his hiring process and what he's looking for so he's looking for legendary and he said i'm not making the same mistake again so what happened <laughs> last time i do it again this time so but we're excited and so i hope everyone was helped on yesterday with that and everything that he was doing so um always a pleasure with that with the different prompts and things like that so that it can be used for your company when you have your hiring process so we're excited all right Till he comes on is there anybody that's working on anything new got some new things done new things accomplished everything like that well okay. yesterday's class was very helpful it cut huh. down about three to four days of work into one nice all right way to go melissa congratulations to you right so that's good so melissa was helped with the prompts good 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 anyone else uh, working on different things. Uh, the Queen Renee, how's, how's the game show coming? Because uh, Roman Roman's ready, I know, okay? <laughs> it's, going, it's going good. Now, I also got a got a, um, a connect for a producer. Thank you. So that's, that's the awesome part. I have a um, talking and got a possible a possible connection to a producer so I'm like okay um so yes that is happening and yeah and I'm still working on on a very big list <laughs> of, of, of other producers so it's it's a list of like 40 40 um yes so yeah but I do have a I talked with someone on yesterday and they were like like well I know I I, I know a producer and I'm like I'm like yeah let me talk to them I'm not gonna dive too 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 much but I just wanna talk we can you know maybe have an, a little in, internet coffee you know what I'm saying some internet coffee and see what's going what's going on so yeah I'm, that's where I'm at right now still still going through that big old list <laughs> yeah there you go well congratulations all right thank you Let's see what happens. I'm gonna talk talk to this person. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. Great deal, great deal. All right. Well, congratulations to Queen Renee as she continues to keep it moving. Keep it moving with the game show. We're talking to the producer. Hey, listen. Some people don't get that far. So hey, I'm excited. And you know, um, and I'm sorry that I that I missed yesterday in class, but I'm gonna be looking at that at that replay because I do need to start looking at a team of writers. I do need to start doing that. So that's really gonna come in clutch for me. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking at that replay. Good deal. Good deal. All right. All right. Well, the man, the myth, the legend has cut on the camera. So I'm gonna get out of the way of greatness all the way to E Town, Galveston, Texas. Founder and CEO of Density Six, Rhino Leg, and all things tech. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay. Billionaire maker, billionaire maker, innovator, and creator, Mr. Antonio T. Smith Jr. You know, the original humor consultant. We started in 1981. You know, people may remember what you say to them, they'll always remember how you make them feel. I'm gonna repeat that. They may remember what you say. They'll always remember how you make them feel. Let me tell you a story. I spoke for the National 911 Association. I spoke in 1992. I didn't speak in 93. From 94 to 2002, I spoke every year at their annual convention. Then the association had a little management change, so they didn't have me. But they had me back in 2008. So I'm going to the convention. The night before the convention, they had their big party. So I'm going there. Susan got to travel me on this trip. 
So I went, dropped her off at the head of the convention center in Tampa, and I went and parked the car. She's walking in the door, and she's going up the escalator. She turns to this lady next to her, and she says, Hi, I'm Susan Sorrentino. The lady said, Susan Sorrentino? She said, Yeah. <laughs> Are you Phil's wife? Susan said, Maybe. <laughs> and the lady said, I saved her life in 1994. Susan said, huh? She said, I was brand new to the association and I came here with a friend of mine. And the friend of mine said, oh, when they're looking at the agenda, I was doing a breakout session at that convention. I wasn't one of the keynoters that year. But they were looking at the breakout session and this guy said, oh, you gotta go see Phil Sorrentino. He's great. She says, I don't wanna hear some motivational speaker that lives in a van down by the river. She said, I'm brand new to the industry. I gotta go talk about what's going on. I don't wanna hear some rah-rah guy. And the guy said, no, you gotta go see him. And I talk about in my programs the concept of a commitment. If you have a problem with anything in your life, don't ask yourself why do you have a problem. That's too tough of a question. Ask yourself why can't you be committed to this policy? Why can't I be committed to this procedure? Why can't I be committed to this relationship? Because when you can answer the question why can't you be committed, then you'll know why you have the problem. And then here's the line that saved her life. I said especially in relationships. I said you can do your best you can with a relationship and you can leave that relationship but it doesn't work out. You can leave that relationship with your head held high and your shoulders back. You say, you know what? I did my best, but it didn't work out. Because you know what? I did my best. She said that line gave her the courage to leave a 22-year abusive relationship. And think about this. Think about the coincidence. The first person Susan met at this convention, 1,500 people, is this lady. By the way, there's a great book called When God Winks at You. How God Uses Coincidences to Reveal Himself. Also written by the guy who did Schoolhouse Rock. It's just the bill. Okay, so the next day is the convention. I give my speech, 1,500 people. It's all done. They had the trade show right afterwards, so I'm walking the trade show. I'm kissing babies. I'm shaking hands. I'm hoping to find my next gig. Maybe one of you will help me find one. <laughs> so I'm walking up. This lady comes up. And she says, Phil, I just got to say hi to you. I said, yeah, Susan told me this story. She said, you know about the guy that, that sent me to your seminar. I said, well, I don't know him, but Susan told me about it. She said, two years ago, he called me up and he told me he was going to kill himself. Two days later, he called me back and he said, I just got to say something to you. Everybody that I even gave any indication I was contemplating this, they beat me up. They said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's the most selfish things anybody could think of. How dare you even think like that? He said, do you remember what you said to me? And she said, oh, yeah. You said to me that if I did this, you'd really miss me. And that's all I needed to hear. So when we talk about touching people's lives, you'll never know how that one bit of encouragement, that one love, that one telling somebody that they're special, that they needed at that moment and they're going to change their lives. So remember that now's the time to help that person next to you because you never know. Love you. This is where you should clap, obviously. I mean, if, if you wasn't sure. Wow. Claps work. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yes. If you wasn't sure how claps work, then it go right there. Oh, my God. Law, turn the camera back on one more time. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the only clap y'all needed. Go ahead, do it again, Law. Look at it. That's the only clap y'all needed, the one from that man right there. There it is. There it is. Good, good. Yeah, hold on, Law, Law, one more time. Just say something so the audience can hear you later because they can't see you. Just What's up, beautiful people? <laughs> he going to always hit his cues. You hear me? Oh, never. Gonna miss okay. A cue. Never. Okay. <laughs> Never going to make you wait for it. All right, come on. Let's get some feedback. Phil's video is setting up what I want to do. So let's get some feedback. What did you Wow. Mean? My goodness. Okay. Wow, I was appropriate. I know. I know. I knew the Sorrentino had might have stuck, but just to hear it, you know. <laughs> wow. You know. Yeah. That was the least of these video. That's that, that, that's that's level one. They, I got up to level one hundred. You know, that was that epicness was level one. <laughs> Go ahead, Law. Come on, Law. 
clearly I wore the right shirt today because I went back in time. Yeah, <laughs> that was everything. Let me tell you. <laughs> I knew he had some power, but I didn't know he had some power. Yeah. So thank you. I appreciate that message. And I see why uh Bill and Susan Sarantino have came so far in this business. That was really, really powerful. So thank you mm-hmm. for that. Yep, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's right. That's right. Anybody else like something? Because that's that's uh oh, Dolores. Great morning, everyone. It Great awesome. morning. It, it just reminds you of just life and how um words are very important. That is true. That is true. I, I didn't think about you're an empath though, and you have such a golden heart, so that makes sense. Didn't think about that. That's not something I thought about. You know what I saw? Well, I'm not gonna tell you what I saw yet. Anybody else? Yes, um, I agree with Dolores. Um, a lot of times you you hold back and you're holding back on the very thing that could help someone. Yeah, that's what I got out of it. Well, absolutely, I agree. I completely agree. Now that 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 ain't hard to agree with. Yeah, you hold back. You hold back on Antonio. Somebody. Yes, man. Sometimes people, I, I really believe that some people can be blessed by what you have to say and others will be blessed by you leaving. Mm. <laughs> so it's up to you to decide which one they're going to be happy for. <laughs> make sure they're not blessed by you leaving. Make sure, make sure that's not your wake. There's a book by Dr. Henry Clown. You can always tell when somebody is a real PhD when they don't put PhD on their book. You know, like I've always been leery about the people who put PhD, you know, on their book. Don't don't do that. Don't don't. I mean, you can put it on the back, but not the title covers are wrong. You can't. I mean, that. we can see it if your name is Doctor Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do that. You, you have to put it. Written by Doctor Jerome Red. Now, if you're a woman, that does not apply to you. You're supposed to say Doctor Dolores Williams because uh, the man is holding you back. And I don't mean the man isn't the white man. I mean the man. Anybody with a penis is holding you back at your job. So you're supposed to represent. You're supposed to. We're not talking about women. No, that's the truth. Women can't go into their freshman year class and be like, "All right, everybody, just call me Jill." Nope. Women can't do that because they're already not getting respect in the break room. And Dr. Sarah Maria Sorrentino, Amen. University of Alabama, teaches race and gender studies. And there you go. And she would agree. Women do not get the respect that they deserve. And so she can't go in there and be like, ah, call me Sarah Marie. No, no, you can call me Dr. Sorrentino because her colleagues can't wait to reduce her to Sarah Marie. Uh, anyway, sorry. I, He's I got a it. great group of colleagues, I'm telling you. Well, they works. all stick together. Well, that's real good. That's real good. So Phyllis set up something. I'm, I'm going to give you a title here in a little bit, Grace. But in the meantime, we need another slice of pie. Hi, my name is Phil Sorrentino, and I'm the original humor consultant. We started back in 1981. Today, we're going to give you where we got the definition for your sense of humor. It was from my son's kindergarten teacher. Chad was in kindergarten, and yes, I have a Chad. He's not a hanging Chad. He's not a dimpled Chad. He's not a ripped Chad. He's not a pregnant Chad. He's Baghdad Chad. He's done two tours of Iraq. He was a drill sergeant, trained over 1,100 troops in two years, and today he's at Fort Knox. I think it's kind of ironic that the humor consultants created a drill sergeant. <laughs> But he was in kindergarten, they were talking about your five senses. So Chad raised his hand, he said, what about your sixth sense? The teacher said, your sixth sense? And Chad said, yeah, your ability to read other people's minds. <laughs> in the parent-teacher comments, I went, yes! A tear formed in my eye. I turned to my wife and I said, he can't clean his room, but he's got this one right. But she was a great teacher. She said, Chad, what about your seventh sense? And Chad said, your seventh sense? And the teacher said, yeah, your sense of humor. So if we can agree that your sense of humor is your sense of perspective, then it's the combination, it's the distillation, it's the result of all the information that we process through our other six senses. So literally, your sense of humor ends up being your attitude. And don't we see people with attitudes? 
to quote my great late friend E. Larry Moles from Lima, Ohio. He said, I see people walking around looking like they were weaned on a pickle. They got these attitudes. So my question is, do you have a loving humor or do you have a hateful humor? Do you have an encouraging humor or do you have a discouraging humor? Do you have a forgiving humor or do you have a re revengeful humor? You have the power to choose the humor you bring to the world. Hi, my name's all right, feedback, please. Come feedback, right. feedback, feedback. Come on, come on. You got, you got the power to change the world. You were talking about it yesterday with the whole, you know, your attitude. You, when you, if you show up with your camera off and have an attitude, that's how you show up to your money. That's how you show up to your relationship. That's how you show up to the to, to God. You know, so yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Like, if if let me let, let me let me just address that one more time, Grace. I don't care about y'all little funky cameras. Let me just let me just let me just make this very clear. I care about two things. I care about me, and I care about my content. You see what I just did there? And if you don't get there fast, then you ain't gonna have no me, and you ain't gonna have no content. And I got to take care of me first before I can take care of you. Now, the fixed mindset, the poor person heard me, 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 me. Abraham Hicks would gently say, well, you can't be sick enough to help sick people. So you just got just to gotta remember that. You have to remember that. Okay, more feedback, more feedback. Phil is setting something up. It's important to have a mindset and an attitude of positivity at all times. Man. And encouragement. So you was listening. <laughs> so, so if anybody was listening, you and Grace was listening. I got you. You right about that. You right about that. Come on, more feedback. Well, let me let me switch phases real quick. Besides the content, what are y'all learning in technique? That's what stands out to me. But that's what stands out to me. That's what stands out to me. It, everything is entertainment, and Mr. Phil mm. is keeping your attention. Mm. Okay, so Grace went straight for the hundred point. Um, bonus quiz. There you go. She got a hundred points. Okay. What else? It's a bunch of stuff happening. Dolores, you do this for you get paid to do this. So you done caught two or three patience, techniques. Patience, time. Um, I didn't find with the person like one on one. Okay. Kind of okay. tapping in. Okay. That 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 one right there is probably the most important technique that has been displayed. That's probably the most important one. Yeah, because you feel like he's just talking to you. So okay, can... so you and now, now that's what I see the most. So you and Dolores are getting it now. Phil's not talking at the camera, but to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen some people do videos, and they're not really talking to you. you, you th 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 no, they think they are, but you can tell it's a performance. And you you never forget that you're it, like you never like and a speaker should make you forget that you're in the audience. You should be that's good. The, a speaker should be so good. The audience leaves, their chair leaves, and y'all are having a coffee conversation on two furniture couches or something like it's just you and him or you and her right go ahead love because i know you're at work you know what it feels like to me is you know jerry springer recently passed or what have you but one of the most iconic things that he did was his final thought at the end of the show right so I phil is giving me that, that final thought. all his final thoughts yeah you sure right. right so he's just he's just zoning into you it's, it's sex appeal there it's everything there and it's yeah. just it's just you and him there's nobody else so that's that's what i get from his his videos and it's just taking you in yeah, and you can see Susan's favorite baby blue eyes just on camera lighting up and stuff, right? You know, you can see all of that. <laughs> His technique was some. Remember, the best person to say this is to, for me is TD Jakes. I'm always quoting him on this. He says, "Real ministry happens when he gets past your representative and get to the real you." And that's that's how that delivery is. It's going right past the camera he so he's talking through the camera 
not at the camera, through, and that's not that's not easy, y'all. It is not easy to look at the camera. Ask Dolores. It's not easy to look at the camera and see a million people. That's not easy. As a matter of fact, I don't even think that's effective. I don't even think looking at a million people through a camera is effective. I think looking through the camera and finding one person or a small group of six or seven might be more effective. That's why I told Grace, I always write about, or whenever I write or do something, it's always to the same eight people. It's, it's always the same eight people. They all, they got eight different personality types. They got eight different struggles. One's an abusive relationship. And, and I know who these eight people are. Like I have, they, I have their names. You, you, you know, you've met them. And you can go back to some older videos. You've seen them. And it's always the same eight people. And I always relate to my audience because I'm, all, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to these people that I know so well. So when I talk, you feel like, oh my God, he knows me so well. Because I'm not trying to reach a million people. I'm trying to be extremely efficient with these eight. That's another technique, but we're going to we we go ahead. All right, come on, more feedback. And then I'm going to get the humor consultants to, to talk. And then I will tell you what we're talking about today. He also made it the personal in relationship to himself. He put yeah. himself down as well. So that means the people who are in the audience could relate to him like I'm not above you. I'm not I'm not talking to you as a speaker. I'm talking to you as a relatable person. And that that's disarms the audience so that they can be in a position to receive the message that he's presenting instead of being on the defensive. So I I, I like that. That's right. That's right. That's somebody that's a that's not just a speaker technique. That's a every industry technique for sure. Your audience would like you more if they can relate to you. They can relate to you. If you nobody, this just people who like Superman shock me. I mean, I like the wholesomeness of Superman, but he's undefeatable. I can't relate to that, Susan. <laughs> he's undefeatable. What, is, what you gonna do? Throw a mountain at him? He'll catch it. He, <laughs> he's undefeatable i can't relate to someone who's undefeatable i can't i just i just can't i can't relate to that i can't relate to that spider-man oh this, 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 little, this little kid doing great things i can relate to that you know, i can relate to that batman oh this is just a dude <laughs> this, this is just a dude we can't even say he ain't got no superpowers he's just a dude we can relate to people that we can relate to so good stuff good stuff well and playing these for a reason, but we'll pause and come back to that. We it's, it, we got to bring up the humor consultants at this point. Yeah, we, we got to get some behind the scenes information. You understand? Know, we got we got to figure out, you know, some stuff, some jewels we didn't get yet. So Susan, no Grace, give, give them a warm a warm introduction. Grace, give them before they come. They can't just come. You got to you got to you got to put them on. Grace, give me some Steve Harvey on it. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from sunny 80 degree Florida at all times, <laughs> the, the award winning original humor consultants, Mr. and Mrs. Bill and Susan Sorrentino. All right. All right. Go ahead. Y'all give us whatever behind the scenes stuff we don't know about. Teach us something. Oh, wow. Well. I only do the um, not X-rated <laughs> versions. I just I remember, and I I have told this story of I was living on Cape Cod, came home, um, and the buzz of the town was this guy in town um, marketing and selling the bank stock, and you know he was charming some of the wealthiest people and then you know other regular people to invest in the bank stock and I'm like who is this guy everybody's talking about and people started putting us together saying oh my gosh you need to meet him you need to meet her and you know I I heard it and thought well I don't know where is he so that that this was all in this first week that Saturday night I went to a party on Lake White um, with my brother. 
and it was a cookout on the lake. And, uh, and I was going to see a lot of old friends and all that sort of thing. However, my brother and I walked around to the back of the house, which was the front of the lake, went into the screen patio and I, my eyes met with Phil's eyes. And I'm like, I said to my brother, I'm like, who is that? And he said, that's Phil Sorrentino. I'm like, oh, I said, what well, introduce me? And he did. And I didn't talk to another soul the rest of the night. That was it. And the next morning he ran because he was running marathons at the time. He ran from Lake Wide all the way to where I lived. And he was knocking on our door at some like seven in the morning. I was so embarrassed um, with my mom and dad, you know, <laughs> and I think I was in my pajamas on. So I hurried and put my clothes on and the rest is history. And that was on 7-Eleven. And we got married a year later on 7-Eleven. We were going to be married right there on the spot where we met because it was a judge's house. Um, and it was all set and there was more to it. There was hot. It was going to be like a hot tub wedding because mm -hmm. it was a hot tub party. So we were, it was going to be on um, like, I don't know what the show was, some show. They were going to be airing it on the show and filming it and all this stuff. And the last, last minute, I'm like, I don't want to, you know, and, and I, I wanted to, but yet I wasn't sure. But they were remodeling their house. Something happened and the roof. And so we couldn't have it there. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Because <laughs> it was all set in the motion. Um, but we did have a hot tub wedding cake. And we did get married a year later on 7-Eleven. Good damn. Come on, y'all clap for love at first sight, John. Come on. Yes. That's it. Grace, that's how you're going to meet your husband. You're selling bank stock right now. That's it. Right now, I'm selling bank stock. All right, Phil. Well, it was a loving first sight for me, too. You know, when I saw her, I said, Oh my gosh. And then the first part of her body I touched was her feet. Gave her a foot massage. Smart man. Smart and then man. Worked my way, and then worked my way up from there. Even uh, smarter. <laughs> yeah, we went and sat out on a on a um boat that was docked and kind of left the crowd and we sat there, you know, talking all night. And then he reached out and and started massaging my foot. <laughs> <laughs> and man. he's had to do it about every night since. There it is. <laughs> But, but I guess the message I'd like to give is, you know, I've turned what has happened to me in my life and how I've responded to that in those situations and learned from them and grown to help me get better and get through it. And then I decided I wanted to share that stuff with the world. You know, I spoke to high school students for free for six years. From the age of 22 to 20, 28, I would, I, when I was selling the bank stock, I'd go to the school and say, here, I'm in town selling bank stock, but I get message to young people that they don't get learn about living skills. They learn how to bisect the hypotenuse of a right triangle, but they don't learn about goal setting and communicating and dealing with change and dealing with stress and stuff like that. So while I'm in town, I'd like to give a message to your students. And I would do everything from, they'd create a general assembly for, them, for me, or a teacher would take the day off and I would do every one of their classes for that day. I'd do like six classes in a day or seven classes in a day. Whatever they wanted me to do, I did that. And that's how I honed my skill. So it started number one with a, with a desire and with a quest of what do I need to learn? I learned when I was uh, well, 10 years old and I came home and my adopted mother was wrapped around the toilet after taking some sleeping pills I said to myself I'm gonna to have to figure this out on my own and that's that's what I've been doing is trying to figure it out on my own and here as I'm approaching my end of my 72 trips around the sun on August 1st I'm still doing the same thing I'm still trying to figure it out and then as I figure it out I like to share with people and help them figure it out that is definitely at first off that's amazing secondly that is a call of the light, ain't it, Grace? That's what it sounded like, didn't it? Sound like a call of the light. Yes. Well, 
I started off two days ago saying Antonio's like 200 playing or something. What was it called? 200. Um, my next 200 moves, something like that. Okay. All right. My next 200. Yeah, it was next 200 moves. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what we didn't really finish it because Melissa geniusly said, you know, talk about that. But that's what they were setting up. What if, what if in 1981, and I'm sure, and I'm, first off, Phil and Susan did this to some degree, whether it be <clears throat> they looked out to 1983, looked out to 1985. What if you can accurately look out? Look, what if 1981, they knew there would be a company called Zoom and then Chat GPT? Like, what if you can actually have hindsight be now sight? What if, Grace? <clears throat> what would that look like? Would you, how would you plan out those moves? How would you plan out those moves? Well, I've done that now. Accurately will be up for discussion and embarrassment, depending on how I move. Well, we, that, that, that's a different story, but I've done that and I want to talk about it. So I'm going to share with you some stuff you should not have. And um, what you do with it is on you. But I do want to help you and how I think. And I also want to, I want you to see how seriously I take these things. Seriously. I could release right on the leg right now in any click of a button. It should not be done today. It should be done within the next few hours. Well, to say a few hours, so I'll leave you guessing. But it should not be done today. I um, have my reasons, and it, it'll, it'll probably come up in conversation. If not, you can ask, and I'll tell you. It's not secret or something like that. Grace, for right now, actually, I'm bringing it up right now by accident, so here we go. For right now, I don't feel like I've done enough to ensure, well, I've done enough on my end, but that's not good enough, Jerome. You understand? See, Dolores, me knowing what to do is not better than me properly helping you to do what to do in the organization. Life is a lot easier when everybody around you has it together. I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit so y'all can stop working on projects. So you just stop it. It's me, Phil, and Susan. We're done. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. We ain't doing that no more, okay? We did that already. Now we just go into automatic money. <laughs> but thank you, though. Thank you. We love you. We love you so much. But that's somebody else's ministry now. You understand? That's somebody else's grace. You let you let some young folk do that. We, <laughs> we're done. We getting our money now. You understand? We're getting our milk and honey. <laughs> but I haven't, I haven't, and I, I don't need everybody. I don't need everybody that has a company email. Some of y'all I've already removed your emails, but <clears throat> anyway, I don't need everybody, but I don't feel like Ken has enough yet. It has nothing to do with me. I don't feel like Grace has enough yet. It has nothing to do with me. My problem with these two are resistance, not with them. Whatever is in their life is louder than my leadership. So this is some next level. Susan, we way up here now. We we way up here in wow in transparency leadership. I ain't never heard that one. Wow. <clears throat> your your bills is louder than my leadership louder right now, Grace. <laughs> you understand? It's just loud. I'd be like, Grace, we gonna make it. Bills is like, wah, 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 wah. no, it says she can't hear nothing yeah. because I haven't set forth this golden road for her. So right now I need Grace, I need Ken, and I I, I fixed the other two, so they good. 
but I haven't got to Grace and Ken the way I want to because they're busy sustaining or fixing their current lives. And this is a problem. This is exactly why people like Elon Musk hang outside of Stanford getting non-married teenagers or 20 year olds that just walk right out of college because they can do a 20 hour shift without having life in the way. But I got a 40 year old and a 50 or a 60 year old and they got different things to run. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. And this isn't this, this is not a negative word about you or Ken. I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's, it's not you. This GMC is loud as hell. GMC is like $373.23, please. You know. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> you're loud. having this conversation. Come on, man. I'm glad you are. Listen to me. Tell them about you, it, man. Listen to me. You ain't just talking to Grace. And Ken, you talking to me. Come on, man. You hear me? <laughs> I just say, I'm glad. I'm People glad. are talking, sir. Yes, sir. Because, and that's why I keep going, okay. And my ego, oh, Susan, oh, my ego wants me to be like, mm. what I don't want to do, I don't mind not hitting $500,000 in 30 days. I don't mind that. I don't mind losing. Losing doesn't bother me. I've actually... Over the last four or five years, I've actually become addicted to losing, which is a very, very good place to be. It's a very good place to be. It's a, I don't take losing in any offensive manner whatsoever. Like losing just doesn't bother me. It's, it's, I'm excited to rework my plan. And that's, and that's, a, that's a state of flow that just, just doesn't happen often. You know? So I'm okay with that. I don't mind not hitting $500,000 in 30 days. I mind feel it being my fault, we didn't hit five hundred thousand dollars in thirty days. Now that's gonna piss me off. I'm gonna lose sleep over that. Now I have no problem not hitting it, but if I don't hit it because I didn't do whatever X Y Z and A B C and L M N O P, I got an issue with this. Now once I do it, this is why I get real David Jeremiah again. Well, Lord, this your company. You can do what you want with it. I ain't gonna, when I do my part, it's your company. If you want to fail, let it fail. If you want to win, let it win. It's yours. Do what thou will. I got no problem with that. No, I'm dead serious. I got no problem with that. I am a man of faith that does not bother me. What bothers me is I didn't do my part. And I go in my prayer closet and then God say, well, I didn't give it to you because your motives. Anyway, that's that. That's too. That's too advanced for something. I know Dolores got it. That was too advanced for something. I do apologize. You got. You got to be at certain levels. That you have to be a disciple to catch what I just said. But that's all right though. We gonna we gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. I'm planting seeds. So how do I do some things to help Grace out to help out? Because Grace is very important, and Ken is very important. And, and I'll explain why in a second. I got Dion on board. That's not a problem. Now, I built it to where we don't need anybody. That's, that was also important. No disrespect to you. But it's just a better company when the company doesn't have these big holes that need humans. It's just a better company. If you don't think that, then just wait till AI completely take off and watch how companies just don't need humans. At least I'm still, I'm using the not need humans to roll over savings. Those savings that I don't need humans is going into salaries. So I'm, I'm rolling the savings into salaries. You, okay, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. I'm passing those you. savings on. Right. I'm not keeping them. I'm passing them. You get it. I'm passing them. Yeah, IBM is already on. You are absolutely right. It's since uh, Grace, I don't even know if you're taking notes because I'm on it right now. I don't even know if you're taking notes. It's all you worry about. Just start now. Essentially, my leadership needs to be louder than Grace's problems. And as of now, it is not. Oh, 
oh, may every CEO on this call start thinking this way immediately. First thing I said, Dolores, is, you know, your life would be so much better if everybody else had it together. That's the first thing I said. That was my thesis, by the way. That was my thesis. It would be so much better if everybody had it together. Everybody had it together. So you got Kim and then Grace, and then right out, as soon as I get them together, then the next most important person becomes Jerome and Trinace. See, because I got Jerome, oh, and, and Tracy. I got Jerome. Actually, I need to put Tracy with you, actually. Now I'm going to put him with Jerome. Okay. It's this tears thing because Jerome is getting customers through relationship. So is Tracy. So is Trinace. I can't focus on relationship right now. I can't. You got to understand that right now, we need to go find them 16% of the people that buy prototypes and Ken. And, and, and grace is crazy enough to go do it of course i'm the third person there right now we need hustle we can't live off hustle and i can't build a business off hustle but for the 30 days we need hustle we'll switch the game plan jerome at 31 but for the first 30 days we ain't got no plan susan the plan is mike tyson we got punch in the face adjust that's it. The whole first 30 days is 30 plans per second if needed. If needed. Because the goal is get, what is it, 1,200 customers, whatever it is. It's, it's written down somewhere, right? The goal 12, is to get 12,500. 12, Jerome, I said yesterday, I ain't never prayed and got what I want. Not, I mean, not the way I want it. So we're saying 12,500, but Susie, we know it ain't coming in the way I'm thinking. So I'm going to have to change the plan 45 times. And that might just be day two. But Ken, that's why I got the crazy people to do it, though. You understand what I'm saying? Ken crazy enough. Grace crazy enough. And I'm crazy enough. This is why well, I said the first meeting. I move out the way. I don't need everybody right now. I just need crazy Ken, crazy Grace, crazy Antonio. <laughs> that because everybody can't. Oh, I sure hope y'all hear me. Everybody can't handle that dis, disstableness. That's not a word, but you get it. Everybody can't handle that. And you have to get the right people who can handle such discontinuity. It is going to be unstable. We're going to be making stuff up, shooting from the hips, and everybody can't handle that without having a personal problem. But he just said the plan was to, he said he changed it. <laughs> it changed. It changed. We lost Susan. It changed. <laughs> the first 30 days, but it has to be that way. Somebody has to get arrows in the back so the crew can come along. It's a dangerous road. We need the scouts to go before and kill stuff. So when we put everybody on the carriages, it's safe. But somebody got to be warriors. This is just human life. And if you're not thinking like it in that way, you should be. Like Adonia is getting ready to retire and make her job her first client. So yes, we can clap for that. We can definitely clap for that. Yes, yes. Now, Adonia got to die. Or somebody she hires has to die. But somebody needs to go blaze that trail. Just is what it is. Prayer ain't going to work. Prayer gives you the confidence to die. But somebody got to actually die, Jerome. Jesus couldn't pray and sacrifice. And go, oh, Lord, I'm on the cross. I pray that you just, nope. The sacrifice had to happen. The spear had to go inside. The nails had to go in the hand. You understand what I'm doing? Prayer couldn't stop the nails. I don't care. No, 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 no. As perfect as Jesus was, the nails still had to go in the hands. And you ain't perfect. So you just, just go ahead and accept these nails got to go in your hands too. 
to be inside your dreams is to be outside the will of other people. It just is what it is. Antonio. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, you've got phenomenal technology and all that behind it. But sometimes, I mean, we had, I had, I was a techie at the time when we started. So I, we were ahead of the curve from a lot of speakers because they didn't right. have that. They wanted me to come set up their offices and do that for them. <laughs> but I don't like, you know, I helped a little bit, but I'm like, I can't take my time be doing this. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, but no matter, no matter that we had all those systems in place, there were still obstacles always in the way, yeah. you know, there, and especially in the early years, and you have to push through it. And that's what you're trying to explain here. Right. You're trying it now with everything so accelerated, what took months and years for us can take hours and days right. for you um, to reach that. And you don't, you're saying right now, you don't know what that's going to look like, but you've got the right people. Right. Um, that, that, won't take it it, that won't, you know, freak out and quit and, you know, cause more time and energy um, for you on Please. them than you have patience for, because I don't even see any patience in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I yeah, get it. I, yeah. I get it. <laughs> so that's, that's what you're trying to say. And Absolutely. You know, people here, you're building your business and thinking about it. You can use all this as an example for yourself as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very well said. More, more, more well said than I did. Grace, everybody can't handle unstable startups and what i have to do and and i just got a feeling somebody really needs to hear this i have to stabilize us as fast as possible and jerome the only way to do that is sales there's, there's no other way and it ain't no passively post no 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 no, no. these 12,500 is coming belly to belly Belly to belly. Uh, 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 you, you, you. As soon as we get out of church, I got to talk to you. <laughs> belly to belly. And only kid, and Grace, and myself is crazy. Well, well, you know, Phil and Susan crazy, but they don't need to be in that position. You, you know what I'm saying? We need the folk that don't mind in this season. Everybody got different seasons. 81, that was the season. For them, this ain't the season now. Nah. You understand? They th th think of Philly Susan as more disciple. They 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 doing they they like they like teaching Bible study. Let's do it that way. Bible study has nothing to do with evangelism. See, Ken and Grace, them evangelists. They going out and getting the folk. All right, Susan, I brought him in. Go do something with them. And now, now that they end, that's Phil and Susan job. You, you get it? But you you should not mix your discipleship and your evangelism together. You're going to burn out your horses. Let me say it another way. Your front door is going to be as wide as your back door. So you're going to bring them in and they're going to go out. And we so did a lot of that, you know, um, <laughs> sure. a lot, a lot of networking. If there was a networking networking event, we were there. And, and people expected us to be there. And, and it's not how many cards you give out, it's how many cards you collect. If you I'm give glad you out said a that. card and waiting for someone to call you, no, you get the card or you get the information if it's virtual. I'm so glad you said that because Deanna and Grace just built the whole that. They doing that. They're going to the network meetings, not me. Yeah. First off, get cards I don't want to. And, yeah. Yeah. And follow up with a great meeting you email. It was great meeting you at the exactly. da, da, da. We did that the next day. The next day. Yep. The next day. Dolores, you know me. I don't want to go. I just want to drink some wine or some vodka and read a book. I'm not trying to be out nowhere at seven o'clock at night. And it's not party time. You're there to network <laughs> exactly. and collect and gather. Exactly. And that's why I'm sending the two super extroverts out. And they volunteered. And they can get energy from that. I'm too much of an introvert to try to do all that. 
So you sure this ain't an MLM? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm treating it like that though, but it's not. <laughs> not even close. So the first thing I did, that, that was this is when I just put in the chat, Grace put in the official notes. These, this was my the first meeting we had. That was the full agenda right there. I don't know. Maybe the Lord needs to have a meeting. And maybe she wants to copy the agenda. That was the full agenda. That was the full agenda, period. That's what it was. That's why it was so well done, because it was well written. It wasn't well done because I was smart. It was well done because I was prepared. Those are two different things, <laughs> two different things. So there you have it right there. But not just that. I also want to give you, so I'm not going to talk about that one due to the fact that I've already done it. And I want to spend time talking about, as soon as I find it, I just had it, Grace. There we go. I want to spend time talking about what happens next. So I want you to think about, I want you to think, of, okay. Let's say Dolores has a company. She owns a hospital. When Dolores has, oh, you're very welcome. I, I'm, I'm going to give away the whole game, Dolores. You're going to give away. Dolores has billing and coding, transportation. I don't know what department is over the helicopter, the life flight. So life flight department, you know. Yeah, I, I have no idea what department controls the ambulances. I don't know, but I'm sure I'm sure it's a whole department just for them with their own budget that includes fuel and and repairs. Right. Just something that something that the nurses don't need. Then you got nurses. Now that we bring them up, then you got the CNAs and you got the cafeteria people. They got to eat, Grace. Got to eat. And then you have research and you got the, the super smart people. I ain't even brought up the doctors yet. Like I didn't talk about everybody else but doctors. <clears throat> and then you got doctors, but <clears throat> those aren't just doctors. Because I ain't even bringing up surgeons. I'm just bringing up doctors. Not even PH, not even medical doctors, just the doctors running the stuff on the administration side. <clears throat> then you got the surgeons and the doctors and the general and OBGYNs and all that stuff. That's a lot of departments. So I'm getting ready to send you next. Ah, it's too long, so I'll shorten it up. What I'm getting ready to send you next is my agenda for the rest of the year that we have not gone over. My agenda for the rest of the year for each, well, not each of those departments, but to have each, uh oh, did that wrong. I accidentally put that in chat GPT by accident. <laughs> the agenda for the rest of the year, Grace, to Bring all the departments together and be on one accord. Don't worry about it. You're going to get it in a second. So I need y'all to get what I'm giving away. I shouldn't even be giving this to you. Shouldn't be giving it to you. Shouldn't be giving it to you. But that's 30 weeks left for the year, Janice. Look it up. I dare you. Look it up. Actually, it's 29 now because I already did it to week one. So I start at week two. And that's from this week, Dolores, all the way to the first week in January. There's your agenda. Now, Grace, I'm trying to see. <clears throat> this is me Wait, and my said, leadership. This agenda is from now to all the way to January. That's this what you just correct. said. Okay. Yeah. That's me making sure my leadership is louder than your bills. I ain't all the way done but I'm in the fight. I'm in the ring. I'm in the ring. See, because Grace can't work here when her bills say, think over here. It's too hard. It is too hard. It's too hard to be like, man, I, I really want to show up for Susan, but if I don't show up, I'm going to get evicted. I got to see Susan later. I'll see the replay. <laughs> You know, everybody here knows what it feels like to finally get your shot. And then, and then this one, this one, this one, this one, this one gets on your nerves. You get your shot. And then you go, ah, but it costs this much. I ain't got that. We've all been there. Don't, don't fool me now. We've all been there. Yeah, man. Dolores, if you fly out to Florida, mm -hmm. we'll, Oh my God, this is it. 
to get the people Oprah. Well, how much is the ticket? Well, it's eight hundred ninety nine dollars. How much we got in the bank? Ninety nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there we know what it's like we know what it's like i'm trying to avoid these things i'm, I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to i can't avoid everything that's not my job my job is not to avoid everything and if you think my job is to avoid everything you don't belong in this company i'm not i can't avoid everything that's not my job that's not my job my job it's to write this down grace my job as i see it is to train next man up. That's how I see it. That means if I go down, next man need to come up. If Phil go down, next man up. Straight army style, Jerome. If the sergeant go down, specialist, you up. Ain't we ain't got no corporal. You sergeant now. That, that's how we got to do it. We have Antonio, to. Antonio. Come on, man. Five years ago, six years ago, I flew down to Florida with somebody on this call. Six months later, I was about forty, fifty thousand dollars gone. I remember, and I still ain't seen it. Still ain't. I still ain't seen it. You so guess what? You right. You 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 tell him. You tell him. I I don't know about law, but you tell him my story, and I was with him. Okay, and and Susan and, and Phil was down there too. I didn't know them then, but they was down there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and if you ain't made of the right stuff, things like that can destroy you. Destroy you. If you're not made of the right stuff. I'll destroy you. Destroy so I'm, I'm so I'm glad I'm still with you. I I'm appreciate glad you. I'm still with Phil and Susan. I'm glad I'm still with Rick Grace, Tempest, Deanna. I'm glad I'm still with you guys. But you right, buddy. Yeah. You tell them a story there. Yes, sir. You already understand. I'm <clears throat> I'm grateful. I understand. I remember. I seen the bill. I seen it. I seen not the actual bill, Grace. I seen the receipts. Third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I handled mm -hmm. them. <laughs> For real. I know exactly what you're talking about for a weekend. I, I get it. I, I completely get it. So right here, let me just go through. Grace, just read. The good that came out of it. What what good came out of that? We're here right now. <laughs> right, right, right. Absolutely. Grace, in the chat, put this in official notes too. Oh, don't worry about the first meeting. You're going there, to the, uh, the next one. I got to that. Oh, you got okay, okay. Just go. On, <clears throat> just read now. Oh, they're general in a sense. They're not just just know that each week. Just just go ahead. Just read a couple of them. Just real real quickly. Okay, the one from now to January. That one. All right. Yep. Number one, documents. Uh, importance of maintaining organized files, proper storage, and sharing of documents. Two, frequently asked questions uh, about Rhino Leg CRM and encouraging employees to con contribute to the frequently asked questions. Three, Let me stop you right there. How many of you know? It's hard to talk about something. When you scared to get asked a question, you can't answer. Listen, that'll stop you from talking about something. <laughs> can't keep going, Grace. That's why that's up high, Grace. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> that's number two is for me. All right, number yes. three: sales forecast, understanding and contributing to the sales forecast, and analyzing past performance to inform future predictions. Oh, that's good. Okay, four: when will pay start? Clarity on the payroll schedule and ensuring timely and accurate payments. Sounds like I got to answer that question immediately, though. Uh, yeah. Okay, man. That's, yeah. that's why it's up there high. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Five job descriptions, understanding individual roles and responsibilities. And that's for my protection. That's for okay. my protection. Yeah, Amen. that was for me. I'd take care of me at some point. Amen. Okay. And encouraging cross functional collaboration. Six, what Antonio is expecting of you? Hmm. Achieving Let me my protection. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Achieving excellence in job performance and upholding Rhino Legs values and culture. Seven, what you should expect from Antonio. Supportive leadership and open communication. I actually got that from Lakewood. I got oh. that from Lakewood. Every six months, they were, no, oh, six months or six weeks. I feel like it was, no, every six weeks, every six weeks, they would bring us in 
and they give us an evaluation. And then it was like an hour. And we say, all right, this, 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 do you have any questions? And then in that same meeting, they turn around and say, now, it's your time to evaluate me. I swear to God that happened at Lakewood. It's your time to evaluate me. And that was so weird to me. But, you know, it, it made a big impression. Like, you know, how do you say, well, boss, you suck. Okay. I'm just, you know, I, <laughs> you know. So, but it kept, it kept both parties accountable. And if you do that every six weeks, that's powerful. That is powerful. That is, that is powerful. That's powerful. That's powerful. That evaluation went both ways because um, Joel Osteen believes that the cross goes both ways, right? So that makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Go ahead, Grace. Uh, commitment to employee growth and development. That's under number seven. Eight, chain of command. Understanding the organizational structure, respecting and following the hierarchy. Nine, employee handbook. Familiarizing oneself with company policies and procedures and adhering to guidelines outlined in the handbook. <clears throat> 10, W-2 and other employee forms and health insurance. Ensuring accurate completion of employee forms and understanding the company's health insurance benefits. Amen. 11. Right. Oh, you can start right there. Okay. Now, the chain of commands is actually a little bit Silicon valley ish, but we'll get there when we get there. I don't really... I guess everything has a chain of command, but it doesn't. So now, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on a document. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna send y'all this document. I was gonna copy and paste in the chat, but I'm gonna put it on a document. <clears throat> I think I did it yesterday, <clears throat> but I'm gonna do it today. I want to send you the 50 job positions that are open inside of Rhino Lady, and they also are based on personality type. They have the personality type profile right there. There you go. Maybe hopefully, I sent you the right one. It's in the job description. I mean, it's in the, the chat right now. Grace, do me a favor when you upload the notes to the fan club, upload this separately to anything else I may attach. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Let them have that too. Let them have that too. Is it? Let me ask you something. I typically give, we know this now. At this point, it's been five, six years. Y'all see me give everything away. Is that helpful? I never really, I just assume it's helpful because this is what, this how I'm, it's me, this how, this is what I want somebody to do for me. But I never really asked, you know, Dolores, do you actually use these things when you go out, Jerome? Like, you know, like when you start struggling, do y'all actually use it or should I just stop sending y'all stuff? Like, give me some feedback. This is a great point. I mean, great point to stop and ask that question. You know how excited I am that that you would even dig that deep because everything you said was accurate everything and then i'm thinking a couple more things so like performance management what's the process when you have a person that's not performing mm. not just fire because you can fire somebody and cause some legal issue to happen to you so you want to show proof you've done everything you can to save the person you know you gave them a positive exit like let them exit you know on positive note i might even see you to get your resume to then pay for it for you but there's right. good, different things you can do. So, I mean, I'm I'm so impressed that you you have the knowledge to, you're really being a business. And that's weird to me. Not that I think you shouldn't. You really don't want a business per se. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yep. you're really, it's a, you're, it's a company, a corporation. So I'm, I'm terribly impressed. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Because <clears throat> that's, it's important. It's 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 while I don't want to give you a compliment. Whoa. Two days in a row, too, Jerome. Two whatever, bro. Row, whatever, bro. I'm gonna, whatever. I'm gonna Sometimes. give me a lottery ticket. I'm gonna give me a lottery ticket. Okay. Don't give me a lottery ticket. Now, also, this is something I'm this is this is not only am I preaching this intently, but <clears throat> that's my visionary roadmap for the first 30 days, really. So I want you well. The first 30 days and then until all the brokers were actually it, let me it's my visionary roadmap for the first 20,000 customers. There you go. That's more accurate. Because we're in beta until 20,000 customers. We will not launch into customer 20,000. Dolores, we're gonna struggle. I will keep us if it takes five years to get to 20,000, so be it. But I do not 
do, I am not, I will not, I will not scale this company until we get to 20,000. There's two reasons why. <clears throat> Number one, I think that's something like, Grace, do me a favor. Let's, um, Adonia was right. When Adonia said we didn't need any, because the profit margin is so freaking sky high, it's just dope. It's just dumb. It's a $40 profit margin. Grace was 20,000 times 40. And that's reason number two, actually. So the money is actually the second reason. 800,000. Okay. That's 800,000 times what? I mean, at what frequency, Grace? Monthly. That's monthly. That's 800,000 coming in a month. Jerome could do a little something, something with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, 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 it's not a enough. Bit, you know, you know it's, it's, a drop, it's a drop in a bucket. For yeah, it's yeah. a drop in a bucket. You know, I don't you have to buy a, a, a closet house. You know, that's a house that acts like a closet. You, you understand? So you walk on a neighbor house. You can't live here anymore. So I'm going to buy you out. What is it going to take for you to move? I need to buy your house. Oh, what are you going to use my house for? My clothes. My clothes. <laughs> my really, clothes. Really? Like, for real, though? <laughs> but she's also going, hmm, that's not a That's bad what you idea. get for giving them a compliment. <laughs> it's not a bad Thank idea. You, Uncle Jamal, really? <laughs> not a bad idea. 20,000. But the most important reason is I need, we need a crew that can go get 20,000 together. Then we go scale. We need that crew. We need we need those. Like it's twenty thousand customer service every month, every day. That's like this. There's so many different implications. Like we need. What does the customer service team look like? How does the podcast look? What the, it's, every department will be fundamentally changed. By the time we scale to 20,000, and what that does is it allows us to have a look at what we look like. Everybody wants a million people, but can you handle two? Can you handle two people? Like, are you taking care of the customer you got? Do you show up every morning for your own meeting? You know how easy it would be for me to go, all right, Grace, y'all teach. You know how easy it would be for me to do that? Oh, it so fits my ego. Sure does. It does. I'm not going to show up every morning for free. They got me messed up. It just fits my ego. It fits all my characteristic traits, except if I'm just not that person. I don't fit my motives and my spirit. So I want to show you all this visionary thingy. It's kind of really like a press release too. But anyway, so we're getting five hundred thousand dollars. This is for me to email everybody. I haven't emailed it out yet. It goes in that I think it's in that like week three or something, grace, whatever. So imagine Rhino Leg changing social media forever, because that's what it'll do. And I'm, I'm skipping some of these words. But I, I say, as previously discussed, Rhino Leg is an innovative social media platform. Ah, I just gave something away. See, y'all are looking at Rhino Leg as a CRM, and I tell you Rhino Leg is a CRM. But once we get to 20,000, that's when Arlen Brook comes out. Ah, Susan gets it. <laughs> that's when Arlen Brook comes out. And we're no longer in beta and all the social media-ness. So we're going to learn how other people are using Rhino Leg and their social media's grace and put it as an automatic grade A plus in ours. And then, of course, you see these stages. Now, Grace, we got the first seven days. This is what's, this is what's stopping me from hitting the go button. The first seven days. They're so important, Grace. 
And they got all this stuff here, blah, 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 right? All in Brook timeline is slated to release three to four months after Rhino Leg, blah, blah, blah. But forget all that. You're going to get this email. This is this is top secret image I shouldn't even be saying. This right here, Grace. This is so important. Me and Dolores, we go on a date. And I just, the bill come. I'd be like, uh, you going to pay that? No, no, no. Equal rights. They got to do your blood boiling. <laughs> I'll pay it. Don't worry about it. I will pay it. Don't. That's a thing. You should. No, you never have to ask again. <laughs> No, it's equal rights, remember? Equal rights. And then I somehow convince her again. Well, take me, take me back. Just just one more, one more date, Dolores. Just one more date, please. I know I messed up the first one. I just I just thought I was reading your social media post. I thought, I thought, I thought. She give me a second chance. Terrible second date. Dolores, am I gonna get third, fourth, fifth, and sixth date? Okay. Keep that same energy. Grace, when we go on lunch, Rhino Lee, I'm going to be looking at you and Ken like a first date and a second date. You see what I just did there, Dolores? And I'm trying to see if y'all are as committed as me. Now, I don't expect you to be as committed as me because it ain't your company. But I expect you to have something on it. See, Adonia ain't asking you to take over her bills, but I expect you to put something on it. Uh-uh. Kindness, support something, because I can do this by myself. Is this, I feel it's like this is accurate. I was, I was, yeah, it's 100%, I, I don't, my fact, I don't want you taking over my bills. I really do need to be in control because I mean, and, and let me let me rephrase That's that. Fair. That's fair. I need to have um, dominion, whatever the word is, over my outcome. And if I have to rely on you for that, mm. you then control me. And then, I, you know, if you go down, I'm down too. So I've, it's yeah, it's a fear probably that I have yeah. about it, but I'm not letting you take over. That's I'm a let you know, now. Let me let me be clear. As the male, I'll surrender for those roles that men usually do, but I ain't giving it up, all of it, because I need to be able, if I need to walk away, to walk away and not have to walk away or stay because, because you've taken over everything. I won't, I will never do that, ever, ever. I agree, I agree. Now, of course, after years of trust dating Winston, and Winston never lets her down. Do the and voice. Winston has the, do the right. Do the, yeah. voice. do the voice. I can't change being 20. I, I, I can't change being 20, right? At the years, and, and then she see Winston has all the paperwork. If anything happens to him, she knows that Winston has in the safe all the passwords to the bank accounts, all the PIN numbers. And she has the safe code, you know, all that stuff that like even, even she's going, okay, okay, I can see that. Whatever. Like, you, know. Whatever. <laughs> you know, after all that happens, when she see all of that. So now while he's not he's not in control, he just lifted this burden. Cause she has access to all the control. Then she goes, Well, you know what? I don't mind taking a day off. That she ain't had a day off in 50 years. Yet stand. <laughs> okay. So, Grace, I got to look at y'all as the first seven days. We are dating. Let me tell you why this is important. Because we've got to go back and get everybody else with an email. And while all of us expect some sort of trouble, we don't want an unreasonable amount of trouble. These are two different things, Grace. It's going to be trouble. You go to Apple right now. They established $2 trillion company. Got trouble. But it's not an unreasonable amount of trouble. I converted 
what you put in the chat into Word. <sighs> Some people was telling me that they because it's in pages, so I I, I converted it to Word <laughs> and put it so in the much. chat. Okay. Every time I put something, I'm not even, I'm not gonna do it. So you just keep on doing it. I keep forgetting that I'm, I'm I'm on Mac and I'm not even I didn't even try to convert y'all. I'm sorry. It's just it ain't even on my computer. It's in the cloud. I saved it to the cloud and didn't even bother putting it on my computer. It's in the cloud. So I'm taking it from the cloud straight to Zoom. So it showed up ain't converted. <laughs> it showed up ain't converted. I want you to see that there's a visionary plan, but there's something very important. I would love to show you, but what I've been doing, so, so Susan, it's very strategic. And let me see. And there's something that I've been doing. And I almost want to show y'all, but I don't feel like I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get hit with a copyright, but it's, it's, it's valuable. It's valuable. It is valuable in itself. This is what I've been doing. Jordan and the Bulls granted the film crew full access to document their bid for the second three P. Look, winning has a price. They have got to be the number ones. Okay, what's up right there? I want to get hit with it. Winning has a price. You heard Michael Jordan. So what I've been doing is while I've been working, all 10 episodes playing in the background on Netflix. And what I've been doing is I've been trying to tap into this Chicago Bulls energy. Remember, I always tell you I draw inspiration from everywhere. Michael Jordan saved the NBA, period. There's it's it's no, it's, you know, I'm not even, I mean, LeBron's better than Jordan, but I'm going to get Jordan's props. And I watched Jordan play all his games. I'm old enough. I'm old enough. Grace, a winning comes with a price. And if we don't come to practice like we're trying to win a championship, then what's going to wind up happening is I'm going to say, Jerome, your time coming. You can, come on. It ain't going to be no salary. See, I did all that before, Grace. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that again. We ain't doing that again. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't happening. This is not, whatever. It just ain't happening. You know, Grace, you having a baby tomorrow? No, not happening. Okay, that's how I feel about, not, that's how I feel about repeating these same mistakes. The same energy you just gave, the same energy I'm giving you. I feel the same way. It's a, it's a historical impossibility. Unless the Holy Spirit come upon thee and conceive, you won't be having no baby tomorrow. But okay, all right, then. Well, since we already had Jesus, we'll assume that you're correct. There'll be no babies tomorrow. Okay, since we clip the first seven days, I'm going to determine the first 30 days, which are going to determine the only <clears throat> job that we have. Lost, say just plants, they call them plant daddy. Then, Grace, I can't really share the rest of the stuff with y'all, but I will share this here. The bulk of what I wanted to do today. So you got all those documents. The rest on everything else won't be a document. I don't have it on document. I have it in my notes. This is what I call my lunch plan. Okay. These first two steps are obvious and they're clearly for me, Grace. Read them real quick. They're clearly for me. They have nothing to do with y'all. One, finalize and perfect the Rhino Lake platform, ensuring its user friendly and fully functional. Conduct thorough testing and, uh, to identify and resolve any technical issues. Simplify the user interface and improve the overall user experience. Number two, develop a clear and concise value proposition that sets Rhino Leg apart from competitors. Identify the unique features and benefits of Rhino Leg and craft a compelling message that resonates with your target audience. All right, here's the clear and concise value proposition that I have come up with. It took 40 attempts just to get these one, two, four paragraphs. Took 40 attempts because clear and concise, Melissa, means clear and concise. It didn't say long and sturdy. It said clear and concise. Read them, Grace. 
Introducing Rhino Leg, the ultimate AI powered business growth platform. Are you ready to revolutionize your business growth with a single all in one solution? Rhino Leg is the ultimate AI powered platform designed to streamline your sales, marketing, communication, and collaboration efforts. Packed with features such as Rhino Zoom, Rhino Social, Rhino Forecast, Profit Pack, Rhino Sales Coach, Rhino Burn Chat, Rhino Chatbot, Rhino Marketing, and Rhino Nurture, Rhino Leg delivers unparalleled value by simplifying processes and providing powerful tools to, to maximize efficiency and revenue generation. Rhino Leg's unique blend of cutting edge AI and user friendly design empowers businesses to optimize their sales and marketing strategies, enhance customer outreach and engagement, manage secure communications, and foster collaborative teamwork. With RhinoLeg, you can leverage advanced machine learning and natural language processing capabilities to automate tasks, gain valuable insights, and drive your business forward. Experience the power of RhinoLeg and revolutionize your business growth today. Join the thousands of satisfied customers, I mean, satisfied users who have unlocked their full potential and transformed their businesses with the ultimate AI powered platform. Hey, you right Rhino there. Grace, have you heard of CRM somewhere? Have I heard of CRM somewhere? No, there's a CR is CRM in there? Oh no. Mm. Platform. Yeah. Platform. Yeah. I'm already being Susan caught. I'm being real slick. I'm already oh. setting stuff up. I'm already setting stuff up. That's our clear and concise value proposition. And I promise you, when I tell you it took me 40 times to get there, Jerome, I wasn't lying. It took 40 times. If it wasn't 40, it was 41 or 39 just to get these four paragraphs. That was a struggle. And that was a struggle. It is so hard to be clear and concise, period. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Phil says, all right, Dolores, we need you to give it three and a half minute keynote. Over what? Your life story. She gonna struggle. I've seen it. We've seen it. Phil's seen it. Susan's seen it. Les Brown teach you how to tell your story in three minutes. Folk die. They die. Oh my God, I can't do it. Yes, you can. You just keep talking about stuff that's important to you that ain't important to us. That's your problem. <laughs> that's your problem. But you, but you can do it. It's very difficult to be clear and concise. But once you learn how, it's good. So right there, that's our unique value proposition. Now, Grace, we got to start back over at number one now because what I've done is I have the first 104 steps of what we're going to do next. Keep in mind, I've already given you 100. Like, if you add up everything that I've put out on the chat, and I think like 150 is what I put out in the chat, or something like that. So when I say Antonio's next 200 moves, I was underestimating. I was under Grace. That's Dolores. That's okay. Let's let's go back to dating again. I'm saying, baby, this one we do to make you happy. That's what you just saw. What I haven't showed you is I say, Dolores, this is what I'm gonna do to help you leave your legacy. I was talking to a friend this morning, <clears throat> and we were talking about a lot of things. And She's famous, and she gives him a nerve sometimes. But she's famous, like she's no, yeah, absolutely. Like rock, I'm <laughs> no. sorry, yeah, she's absolutely rock star famous, and she's such a. She's like a. She's like a Donald Trump feminist. I'm not even sure how that comes across, but she somehow pulls it off. She somehow pulls it off, which doesn't make any sense. You can't be a feminist and a Donald Trump. But there's, but, but, but there's a there's plenty of feminists that voted for Donald Trump. So it's possible, okay? It is possible. It's very possible. It's very possible. And she's one of them, I promise you. She is a Donald Trump supporter with very liberal women views, which is difficult to... I never know which one I'm going to talk to, Phil. I don't know which one gonna show up to the conversation. I don't know if it's gonna. <laughs> I don't know which one gonna show up to the conversation. But the day the feminist showed up, 
<laughs> that family they shut up. And I talked to him. And we were talking about Will and Jada. I have no idea how we got here. Not sure, but we here now. So we might as well keep going, right? We might as well keep going. We here now. Yeah, we here now. We, you know what Donald Trump? I mean, talking about Will and Jada. And she said something. And I was like, well, I can concede to your point. This is what I said. And I really don't have a disagreement there. But you know a woman can be guilty without dragging a man in it. This is just I had to tell her. Like, you, you know, just because just because this woman was guilty, you ain't got to ask what Will did. You ain't got to do all that. I'm not saying Will ain't do nothing. But every time you try to make Jada guilty, you bring a Will in it. Just let Jada be guilty alone, is what I was telling her. You know? just, just let that be alone. Don't drag this man in it. I get whatever you're saying, and I get your point, but can this woman just be guilty alone? And she was she had a problem with this. She was having a problem with this. She had a problem with this. And I get it. I'm not telling you that. See, my argument is not that the women this or this. I'm just saying we have a hard time admitting that women are abusive too. I don't know why we have such a hard time doing that. And when we finally do it, we got to, well, you don't know what Antonio did though. And I said, if I turn around and say, well, I mean, Chris Brown, here, Rihanna, he's still in trouble for that for the day. And then if you, if I, on this call, if I say, well, what Rihanna did, you're going to kill me for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so try not to <laughs> do that to the man by accident. That's how I'm trying to tell him. That's how I'm trying to tell him. She finally got it. And then here's the point, not Grace. So I said, well, she said, well, Jada, and she had a very good point, was the superstar when her and Will got together. She had a good four or five year run. She's true. Low down, dirty shame. She, 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 Jada was bigger than Will. Will was a TV star, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Jada was bigger than Will. And then she said, and I said, well, because I, because I, my point was, I said, look, nah, I don't mean no disrespect. And I'm going to say something I shouldn't say. But they're not rich because of Jada's movies. They're rich because of Will's. Like, I know I'm not supposed to say that. I know I'm supposed to be quiet here. And she was like, I agree. I agree. And I was like, look, what I need you to do for me is because the whole point we were trying to have is I was trying to tell her that if you don't pick the right mate, she won't stop you from going to the Oscars and slapping somebody. And she just could not concede that she just kept thinking I was calling Jada guilty. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying the right mate. The, the argument should have been, look at Susan up there grabbing Phil. And then everybody would have been saying, get you a good woman to stop. Like that would have been the argument. The argument would have been, get you a good woman to stop you from doing something stupid instead of let this man go up there and do something stupid. And she just, she couldn't. And then we got to the point. She said something so cold. We got to the point. Grace, she said, well, I see your point now. Finally, she was in. So I guess she got tired of existing in his shadow. And I said, and there is the point. Because I got no problem. As strong as I am, I've got no problem existing in your legacy without trying to teach you or dominate it. And she was like, but existing isn't building. I said, that's a lie. I said, existing is building. You only build a legacy or you tear down one. You don't do nothing else. That's what I told her. That's You're exactly. building a legacy. So this is old school woman stuff. They stopped teaching this. Back when Susan Mama, you know, man, they stopped teaching this back then. This is old school. You're building a legacy or you're not building a legacy. And I told her, if I sit there and I support you smiling at all your shows and you bigger than me and I'm your biggest fan and I'm clapping, everybody on the planet is going to say that's a good woman. And that is building your legacy. And I, and I say, don't tell me that's not possible. Look what Michelle Obama did. 
She sat there and just smiled while and Republicans she was, was talking she about was her. She was bigger than Obama. She was bigger than Obama before. Yeah. That's that's building. And then she said, well, I get your point. And then she brought up Viola Davis' husband. I don't even know his name. I know I know who he is. Then she brought up Angela, Angela Bassett's husband. That's Mr. Vance. I know his name. Antonio. And yes, look what ma'am. happened to Will when he protected his wife. Look, you know, look where he's at now because of that. Where's the organ when you need one, right? Like, <laughs> so I'm trying to tell him that you have to know how to exist while building. So we finally, after 45 minutes of conversation, she finally relented. But I wasn't trying to get her to relent. I was trying to get her to see that your idea is great, but you never allow something opposing to come in. So it can't be great. By default, it's you messing it up. Because as a man, if Adonia is offended and is about to slap her boss, my job is to jump in front of her. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> it just is what it is. And if I don't, she didn't pick me correctly. Every David needs an Abigail. Good don't thing is I never do that. Sometimes you make the be really angry, but I will that that's just so not me. I would never I would walk away. Which makes total sense. Makes total sense. But of course, we don't know. I mean, that's 25 years in an abusive relationship. Like you never know how long. Like we judge people for falling, but you never know how long it took them to fall. That didn't happen to no Oscars. That's 25 years of just, you know, that's that's a lot. That's a lot to hold on to. That that's a lot. That, that, that's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. Grace, if I was to tell you that we have a very good shot of building legacies with some people and simply having rhino leg existing for others, but it's building, we go in. That's the only reason I brought this up. Say that one more time. I got to put that in the notes. If I had, if we could build for some people and exist for others, because see, some people have a brand where they have to be the reason they got the leads. Um. So Rhino Leg has to take a back seat and be a solid husband, clapping. You, we, we don't know what kind of work. Viola Davis' husband doing the background at home. Angela Bassett says, and this is the honest gone true, man. Angela Bassett says, no matter where she is in the world, her and her husband take 20. I think, I think this is so dope. They take, no matter what they're doing, no matter how busy it is, no matter how mad they are, they take 20 minutes a day and take a bath together. And so, so they was like, well, what about when you're in the movie? My husband come with me. I think that's brilliant. I just, it's, I mean. That is. Not, that ain't just brilliant. It's kind of hard for anybody to make room and wiggle their way in there when you're taking a bath with your spouse every night. <laughs> can't wiggle yourself in there, Grace. You just can't do it. <laughs> you just can't do it. You can't. It's near impossible, right? It's near impossible. But that's the, that's the idea. For some people, we're going to exist we're going to do great things. But their brand must say they did it. So we've got the package rhino leg that way. To where it's the, it's, it's the secret assistant making the superstar famous. And I've designed it. I'll watch my words here. For people who were big in the 70s and 80s, Rhino legs should repurpose their material and make them relevant again. You, you get what I'm saying? Okay. And be able to chop up 
and make new content from their older content that is all their content. We, we could humor think of consultants. Humor. humor consultants, that's right. That's what the humor consultants do for folk, right? You get know what I'm saying? These things like this here. And then for other folk, like Grace, Grace can be like, nah, man, I'm a master at artificial intelligence. Let me tell you what I do with Rhino Lee and stuff like that. And we got to be able to do both. The same way, like I am just convinced, Adonia be lying to y'all. Adonia is extremely submissive. Don't let her fool y'all. If Adonia get the right one, she would be extremely submissive. She would be like, here, you can take it, blah, blah, blah. The problem is her BS radar is operating at 1,000. So she can see straight through people before they even talk. That's the real problem. She got x-ray vision. <laughs> That's the real problem. So she, she know you full of crap. And if I can be both to a dime, Michelle Obama when she needs me to be, and then I have no idea the equivalent to some loud or out front leader that helps her. I don't know, right? And you know, things like that. However that works, if I can be quiet when I need to be and supportive and then be loud when I need to be on her command, then there's no way we won't make it. It's impossible because vanity is always going to drive the world. I didn't say everybody. We're talking about collective right now. We're not talking about you and your church. We talking about the collective. We're not talking about human maturity. We talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Jerome. I, I know you've grown out of that, but your friends haven't. Okay. Okay. You know, you, know, you still got family members that keep buying stuff in the house for nobody to see but once a year. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Y yes, I did. I did. I, I did see it, and he's he, he's right. I'm confused on. Can you message me what you sent? That's what I was confused on. What exactly did you send? I. It looks like I saw it, but I wasn't sure which product was sent. And then I, I'll have an I'll have an idea. I, I'll have an idea. And then after that, we'll talk on my phone. Yeah, I, I saw it, but I, let, me, let, me, let me look at it real quick. Hold, hold on, y'all. Let me look at it. I didn't, maybe I didn't scroll down far enough. Let me look at this real quick, y'all. Because it was, it, it was, I saw it. Oh, okay, you sent all of these. Okay, I got it. Okay, yeah, I, did, I didn't look at the attachments. Okay, got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. He's right, but there's... We'll definitely talk because we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll, 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 we'll talk. We'll talk for sure. Today, we'll talk today. We'll talk today about it. Grace, this is what we got to do. We got to make sure we're both in for people. Go ahead, Phil. What movie Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves were in where Al Pacino is Vanity? Al Pacino was the devil. Yeah, Vanity is my favorite. Devil's Advocate, yeah. Yeah. That's it. A great line and great movie. I might watch it today. That movie was great. And it's vanity, man. Remember, but if Jerome, if I, I promise you, if I come in, if I come here to the ultimate lunch of ATS, I've done this before. I'm, just, I'm not saying something new. Like I just typed up this note. I haven't I haven't even updated since 2022. But right here, it says vanity. It's it don't say the word, it says it's apparent that the gain in the capital and admiration are more ingrained in society more than ever. Ask yourself, how far will people go to protect what they have built to look successful? Vanity. And then ask yourself, how can ATS make, quote, look successful become real successful? It's in there, Jerome. I'm not making this up. I've been on this energy, right? And we must also respect the fact that some people would just want to look successful, no matter how much you try to change them. So we need to make looking successful easier for them as well. So I'm saying what I've been saying. And I'm counting on vanity to never leave the collective consciousness because people will pay 
consistently to look good. And that sounds like salary to me, Susan. <laughs> all I hear is salary. That's all I hear. That's all I hear. How can we make you look good? I know it's look well, but you get the point. How can we make you look good? And that's the point, Grace. That's the point. So I got a bunch of steps. I'll give them to you. They're a lot. I'll probably, I don't, I don't have them on a document. It's 104. I'll just, Grace, pick a number. Pick a, pick a, pick a set of 10 numbers real quick. Just a set of 10 numbers. Okay, 27? You so right now? 17 to 27 or 27 to 37? Oh, okay. I'm thinking you're talking about like anywhere from one to 104. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, no, no. Is it, is it 27 to 37 or 17 to 27? Okay, 17 to 27. Because I was All just right. about to pick 10 random numbers. But go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got you. That's, that's just the way I asked the question. So right here is this plan that I have. Read that, Grace, and we done. All right. Now try to put these in the logical order as possible. Utilize search engine optimization, SEO strategies to improve Rhino Legs visibility in search engine results. Right. Con conduct keyword res research to identify high volume, low competition terms relevant to Rhino Leg. Optimize website content, metadata, and technical aspects for SEO. Monitor and adjust SEO efforts based on performance data. What's metadata, real quick? Metadata is how it shows up on Facebook. So when you oh, post okay. a link and it populates, you know how you oh, post a link uh -huh. and it spins? Yeah. That's metadata. Okay. <clears throat> 18, invest in paid research, I mean, in paid search and social media advertising to drive targeted traffic to Rhino Legs website. Develop targeted ads for platforms like Google Ads and Facebook Ads. Set up conversion tracking and continuously optimize campaigns for maximum ROI. 19, develop and distribute press releases on announcing. Quick. Okay. Hold on real quick, because there's some, some people are visual. See Melissa's post here? Yes. Okay. This is and, metadata. And it was a link that she just put in there, but it, right. it popped. Okay. This is it popped the metadata. Gotcha. All right. Okay. There you go. Nice cover, Melissa. All right. Uh, oh, 19, develop and distribute. Press releases uh, announcing major milestones, such as the platform's launch. Craft engaging press releases highlighting Rhino Legs' unique selling points. All right, stop right there. I will make you. I'm gonna make you keep going because okay. <clears throat> I'm in and out. I had 104 of these steps outside the 100 and something. So, but so there's a bit both and thing here. In the beginning, the first 30 days, I don't give a damn about none of these steps. Not one. Not a one. I don't, Renee, your hat looks nice by the way. I don't care about none of these steps in the first 30 days. I care about 12,500 people. Forget them steps. I might even sign somebody up. Hey, we might not have good customer service to the 32nd day, but to stick with us. I might, I might, I might. Because the goal is important first. Because we need something to fall on. And then, after that first 30 days, then I'm going to start going through this one through 104. And if I can solve each problem, short team, is it sharing your head, Grace? I did them. Right here. Yes. I just highlighted the number 20. I know it's real small. I do apologize. It's a bunch on here, though. <clears throat> Implement a loyalty program to reward long-term customers and encourage user retention. If I can solve that, I'm just going to go in order, Grace. Look, 29, offer training and educational resources such as webinars and tutorials. I'm going to go through each one, Grace, and let's keep it real. If I take this attention to detail, Susan, and go, utilize email marketing and then master that and come all the way down here it won't just be the greatest company that i've built it'll be one of the greatest companies in the world because i have 104 no lie 104 
steps that I'm increasing day by day. Outside of the other stuff. See, Grace, that other stuff was, okay, that was a we thing. This is me saying, don't need no employees. AI, me and you, let's go get it. Let's go address all these. And what happens is this speeds up the ship. Because it's real easy to sell something when people see it everywhere. It's real easy for the human consultants to have Grant Cardone opening up for them when you see him everywhere. Real easy for them to share the stage with Gary Vee. And these are people that's important to me. I'm sure there's other people, but you get the point. They had a human consultant selling out stadiums, opera houses. Can you imagine it? They go on a 50-city tour in historic opera houses. That fits their brand greatly. That really does. That totally fits their brand. <laughs> Every historic opera house, you know, in all 50 states, they going and going and going. And the more we work together, See, I'm, I'm, you, you can see me walking this live field. The more we work together, but then I create it, and the more we don't work together, the more I work with myself in AI. This is, it's got to be both. Well, my, my vision needs both because what I'm trying to do. It's why I created in Sinka AI because it's like, hey, just me and you, buddy. Just me and you. All right. I'm all by myself. It's just me and you. Help me. That's why I've been in my own AI. Let's do this. We need some more of this, 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 and that. And right now, it's all it's all pulled off. It's all it's all it's all fine. It's all perfect. I'll probably, I think I'll get Grace and Diana to sit with me this weekend, and I'll probably just hit go or something. I don't know, but I know I need to talk to you first, Grace. I know I need to talk to Ken next. I'm gonna call Susan and feel right after this call though and address. Uh, email right like right after this call and uh, that's it so anyway but wrapping this up i believe that we've built something i don't even have a word for it i don't think it's a company i think it's the future and what gives me i said this to somebody before i said this to two people i said it to a and she received it then I said it to somebody else, and I shouldn't have said it. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about, Jerome. You know, you can't tell everybody stuff. This is why. Ugh. Wow, it was actually, actually, it was that same girl. Same girl I was talking about in the story earlier today. Same one. Yeah, the, the celebrity. It was the same one. Ugh. She gets on my nerves sometimes. She's, she's fantastic. But she gets on my nerves sometimes. She gets on my nerves sometimes. And I said, I told her, don't you, don't you, for the first time, we have more technology than the white people running the world. That's what I said. Because I'm talking to don't you, she black. So I, I mean, right. <laughs> then I went to the celebrity. I said the same thing. Nah, man, for the first time, man, we got more technology. Than, and I didn't even say it like black people. I just, I said to Facebook. And she was like, nah, they, they holding something. Shut up. We have before us the tactical advantage we've always been waiting for because the AI revolution is for everybody. And when you build your own, Jerome, and you're training it, and you own it, okay, let's count the companies. OpenAI, Microsoft, Antonio. Hmm. And Microsoft is using OpenAI. So really, let's go with OpenAI, Antonio. Yeah, yeah we win. We absolutely win. We absolutely win. But last words, Grace. And Phil and Susan would connote you on this all day. Execution. That's that's our problem now. That's our problem now. 
It ain't the tech, it ain't the ideas, it ain't the people, it's execution. That's why I'm making a big deal out of this phone call, a big deal out of the first seven days, a big deal out of the 30 days. Because if we don't execute in 30 days, while we can start over, it would be still new wine and old skins, Grace. And I'm just not willing to deal with new wine and old skins. That's just me. Anywho, you can't plant better, you can't dominate. Thank you all so much. We do appreciate you. Love you, everybody. Love, Love you more. more. Love you more. All right. Yeah, I have a good one. I'm calling you right now, Susan. <laughs> all right, y'all. <laughs>